Hey folks, what's up? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time right now, 12.30, 12.40ish, okay, in the morning. And uh, I woke up a while back, uh, very, very tiring day. I don't know, something's up with the weather. Uh, you always feel sleepy in the winter and stuff. A lot of dust and uh, um, pollution. So that's another reason perhaps. But today I'll be doing a um, requested video. Uh, some of you asked me to put up, since I'm doing the year-end ultimate list of 2022, I thought like, you know, why not take some requests? So. Um, I have put up about 13 fragrances which are affordable and mostly from Middle Eastern houses obviously they're going to be ruling this list but there are some designer ones also I included. So understand this, this is not the ultimate list as I always say you'll not perhaps see your most favorite fragrance right here but that doesn't mean it's not good fragrance okay. But I'll pick these up you know in general I think they really offer great value for what you pay and um, really you know like great smelling fragrances. So check them out and I think, uh, you know, if you find them somewhere, give them a sniff, okay? So I'll start with this fragrance. They're all solid. I would say, you know, I picked them up for a reason. First one I'm going to show you is Ragba Wood Intense. I've been showing this for many, many <clears throat> months. And this juice I heard is discontinued or reformulated, either one. But um, it's going to get tough to find very, very soon. And already some people are looking for this. They are not finding this everywhere. So Ragba Wood Intense, basically people compare this with by the fireplace by Mason Martin Margiela or Stronger With You and that sort of vibe with smoky woody kind of a sweet smell and it's very long lasting. I absolutely love this over my original Ragba or 24 by gold, 24 gold by Oud Sense Story. Man, ah, <laughs> still sleepy a little bit okay but this definitely I recommend highly. It's called Ragba Oud Intense. Let's keep it there at the corner okay. <clears throat> Number 11, something similar to that but a little bit better in terms of uh, smell in, in my humble that is very very good but this is also solid if not better this is called amiral oud by uh, i think this is called latafa intense oud okay you can see the juice color is pretty similar this is like a rich golden colored juice and definitely we expect something like oud something sweet amber vanilla and uh, spices this is a sweet experience okay if you like sweet fragrances you're gonna like this a lot this is also close to by the fireplace but this one has sweeter notes it's sweeter than the ragba wood intense okay so definitely check it out amiral wood very affordable and both of them are very very good in terms of pricing okay so uh, latafa offers great value you guys know that <clears throat> so number 11 then we hit top 10 i think yes uh, number 11 is gonna be a fragrance i absolutely love i wore it a few days back and i realized how much i love this the bottle is gorgeous, just that base of the bottle is not that great. So be careful when you put it around the edge of the table. I broke a bottle like this before. This is called Mahir by Latafa. Surprise, surprise, another Latafa. <laughs> uh, and this again has that golden sort of vibe. I also have Latafa Mahir Black, but I like this a little bit more because it's sweeter. Mahir Black is kind of like a smoky, a spicy, dark fragrance, kind of like a more... Um, like you know you can say daring but this one definitely if you have a sweet tooth you can definitely wear it i think this one it's similar to the previous ones kind of in a way but this one has kind of like feels like uh, that honey floral added you know to this mix really nice amber sweet and there's a oud perhaps in there as well so latafa mahir by latafa okay so top 10 let's put a designer here uh, designer one a classic always would be nautica's voyage and uh, no need to talk much about it if you're new in the fragrance game then you'll be like wow how's that it's simple it's a soapy fresh clean salty smells like cucumber like a ocean salt you know and also a uh, beast mode longevity for a fresh perf perfume this one has gone up in price in recent times in market used to be 22 dollars in bangladesh now this is selling more like 30 32 dollars okay but still worth the price tag okay uh, Nautica's Voyage, amazing summer fragrance. It's a staple in anybody's collection. If you can get a vintage or a 200 ml, even greater. Okay, number nine. Uh, this is this one clones one of my most favorite fragrances, which I don't have. I wish to have it, but I love the note of cherry. You guys know that. I wish I could find, uh, I could buy um, the Lost Cherry by Tom Ford, which really, really, really felt like it's a must own perfume. Very seductive, long, long lasting, but I cannot. I can afford it, but I just don't want to buy it for 200 something dollars. Rather, I have this Pandora Sense called Boozy Cherry. This perfume right here, man, uh, performance perhaps is two to three hours, maybe three hours, okay? But the smell, it's so lovely. When you smell this, when you smell this, you'll get the essence of uh, like lost cherry, 
by Tom Ford, but you'll get it for a much cheaper price. You can buy five bottles of it, you can spray all day. So you can understand. So that fragrance is really, really nice. Boozy Cherry, highly recommend uh, by Pandora Scents. Now, next one, we have, I think, number eight, if I'm not mistaken. This is a fragrance, uh, again, from Latafa. Latafa ruled this year. This is called Latafa's Asad, okay? Asad, I review. Check out my review on each fragrance here. Latafa Asad basically tried attempted to clone Dior Sauvage Elixir and Elixir by Dior Sauvage it's a expensive fragrance very expensive for my liking I did not buy that I did not give in the hype and for me I found the fragrance to be okay you know I mean not bad good longevity but didn't blow me away like something like Tom Ford Boudi Jour if you have if you have Burning Barbershop by DS and Durga or something like if you have uh, what if you have some some good barbershop perfumes you know like uh, Dracar Noir Intense you know, like of those, you don't need uh, that Dior Sauvage Elixir. Who wants to pay $160 for, you know, 60 ml bottle? Uh, ridiculous pricing for Dior. This captures a lot of elements of Dior Sauvage Elixir. I would not say it's like a one-on-one -on -one clone of Dior Sauvage Elixir, but it's pretty nice smelling fragrance. This one uh, smells sweet, a little bit spicy, a little bit barbershop, lavender, uh, mild spices, really makes this fragrance interesting. And I think this is more wearable version of Dior Sauvage Elixir. This is called Asad. Next one, this uh, man, Latafa. <laughs> I picked them up randomly. Believe, believe me, you know, I did not plan to buy, I mean, put so much of Latafas. I want to put some other brands, but literally they got picked, you know. <laughs> uh, this next one is from Latafa, but this is actually of their different life. They don't mention Latafa. This is called Latafa Rave Now, okay? So Rave Now, uh, if I can simply put it, if you ever loved uh, Swiss Arabian Shock, you know, S H W Q, I think S H A W Q, yeah, shock. Shock is a pineapple burst, pineapple bomb. So is this. It's very similar to that. It's more affordable than Swiss Arabian and it smells juicy, fruity, pineapple, kind of strawberry, lemon mix. Very much fun fragrance with a beast mode longevity. I definitely think this is one of the best ever. Like affordable seg budget segment, this is one of the best fragrances I think I have bought, okay? So check it out, Latafa Rave now. You can wear this all year round. It has that, you know, like strength even to wear it in the winter months, okay? So that's Latafa Rave now, okay? So number six, and I hit top five. Number six, let's put off my favorites, bringing it back after a long time. This is Rasasi Shura. If you do not know Shura by now, you do not know me as well, because this is one of my hypes. I was one of the guys, call this the devil juice, <laughs> evil and beast mode destroys everybody's fragrance. You guys know it's an evil juice. Doesn't smell like Nautica Voyage because it's blue. This is a blue beast and a blue beast like Amouage Interlude. You guys know Amouage Interlude is a blue beast. It's one of my favorite signature scents. <clears throat> but in short, Shura will give you sweet fruity burst with that tobacco, spices, uh, oud, leather, okay? And the smoke that you get from it is kind of like ashy smoke. Uh, do not put too much of it still till today this fragrance rules i can detect it literally like at least good 100 to 100 something feet people when they're walking in this bit breeze i know this guy in the area or the block wearing shura so i would say it's high up in the order today rasa shura wear less less is more okay top five uh top five i would i was thinking which one to pick i have so many recent times i have bought uh, from Middle Eastern houses, I picked this one today. Ahmed Al Maghribi leather. Okay, this perfume is not super affordable. Why? Because the price range for this, I think, is around thirty dollars, thirty-five dollars, or maybe twenty-five to thirty. I forgot. It was sent to me as a gift from one of the brothers, and I was blown away by the quality and longevity of it. This is a clone of Tom Ford Tuscan leather. So why I was saying it's not super affordable because you get a fifty ml bottle. Okay, you don't get hundred ml. But this 50ml will serve you at least three winters. Three. How? Because you literally need two sprays of this and that's it. It's a beast mode and it, you cannot distinguish between this one and Tuscan leather. Like Lyukom is good but super expensive. $80 for 75ml. Compared to that, this is cheaper. Okay. But the quality of this juice, it's so lovely. It, you can smell the leather but you can smell a lot of raspberry in there. It's very juicy raspberry. Absolutely love it. Very high quality which is why it's in top five. Okay, number four. Um, let's move a little bit this side because I will have to put a few more fragrance. Next one. If you love Angel Share by uh, Killian, uh, 
Uh, this one is one of the best clones of it. But I actually prefer I will do comparison with this one and the next one. I like another one from Pandora Sense, but I find this fragrance to be longer lasting, so I'm showing you here. This is lots of us camera. So you can buy this as an alternative of Angel Share, but also on its own, this is a really nice fragrance. I absolutely love it. Adorable perfume <clears throat> and uh, gourmand, sweet, kind of like salty caramel vibe going on. Um, for the price, the bottle presentation, the longevity is pretty good. And I got compliments from this stuff, right? So definitely high up in the order, lots of us camera. Lots of us ruled one, two, three, four, five, six. In a 15, you have six lot of fragrances. It tells a story, okay? Top three. No more Latafa, I guess. Yeah, no more Latafa. <laughs> I hope not, but if there are more, I would be not upset. Number three is this one from Lalique, change of pace. This is La Lalique, uh, what is it called? Lalique horse? <laughs> Lalique uh, Purom, I think. What is this called? Lalique Purom, yes, the horse head, okay? There are three in the line. I have the um, lion, I have this one, and there's another one, I forgot the name. It's the purple or lavender color bottle. This one here is the best in terms of smell out of the three. I smell all three. I have two, but this perfume right here, Lafafa, like Lalix Purum, equals, yes, equals, not horse, equals. This is a hybrid of Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf and few other fragrances, but it has its own twist. So pleasant, so high class. Even if this was a list of some of the best designer perfumes, this would make it, okay? Not just because it's cheap, okay? Uh, amazing bottle. I think they have changed the bottle design and stuff. Try to get this bottle. Okay, that would be really great. Lat I keep saying Latafa. Lalik equals Purum. Number two. If you see this, you're not going to be surprised because I've been hyping this up lately. Loving it a lot. And i saying high praises of it. This is called Theorem Rue Broker. And this is Afnan one. Finally one Afnan. This is a clone of Bulgarist Tiger, which is somewhere... Where is that? It's, it's actually out of focus. On the best okay let's just say that great performance great citrus great grapefruit and ambroxan um, fragrance pushes like you wouldn't believe it it's soft projection but last a very long time quality is unbeatable you can get uh, something like uh, the other one which i always forget the name of for some reason if you know turati blue there's the brown one if you can get turati blue also great but uh, bottle presentation wise this is better okay rue broker uh, by Afnan Theorem. Theorem A. <laughs> Number one this year. I'm gonna put this is not super affordable, but it's still affordable. The best fragrance I bought in this price range this year. This is called Ajmal Evoke Midnight Edition. What a great fragrance. What a great little release. What a gem of a perfume. Um, I think there are a few other reviews before this, but there's no such hype that I created on this. I want you to try it, okay? If you actually like equals if you like spice bomb if you like peppery perfumes with a hint of citrus but very sophisticated not overbearing not nose burning this is your fragrance very alluring very long lasting and ajmal made a gem okay 10 of 10 for this fragrance just try out any of these i think highlight likely you're going to appreciate the value that you get for your money so there you go uh, top 13 picks for 2022 Next year, perhaps we'll do this list again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the suggestion. I will do a few more lists before the year ends, if God keeps me here. Have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.